once you're done, it should look something like this. <laughs> yeah, it's a big mess. <laughs> but seriously, it should look something like this. Okay, everything's plugged in. Uh, do we need a light? I think we do need a light. Now, I figured out I can use my phone as a sort of torch. So I'm going to do that now. All right. If you have an Android, just download Flashlight. It should... Yeah. So it shouldn't look something like that. Hold on, let me put this on the camera so it looks like a camera flashlight. <laughs> yeah. And there's your Isara somewhere there. There's your Isara. Uh, my case does not support Firewire, so I'm going to have to... Not my case, my motherboard. So I'm going to have to do something about that. And I don't know what the hell this cord is. It says... It says AC97 or something like that. If you guys know what that is, let me know, please, because I'm, like, spinning out here. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Next. Uh, so the next step to how to build your extreme gaming PC is connecting the power. So before you connected the, the data cables, now you have to connect the power. So, yeah, look, before you connected all the motherboard cables, so what can we call it, motherboard cables, yeah, yeah, connecting the motherboard essentials, oh yeah, now you're going to connect the power, so you connect the 24 or 20 pin to the motherboard, you connect the 2 6 pin or 8, or eight pin to your graphics card, and you connect the 8 pin or 4 pin to your CPU, wait, wait, is that the one? Oh wait, that's that's the graphics card one. Six or eight, and there's another six or eight. Six or eight, and this one's for your CPU, which is four or eight. So yeah, uh, it's pretty hard to install this on camera. So I'm gonna show you where to to put it. Wait, wanna, let me take my flashlight out again. My little flashlight. Oh my god, it crashed. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no thanks. I do not want to rate. Okay, so your 20 pin goes there, where the middle of the flashlight is aimed. Your 8 pin goes up, somewhere up there. You can use it, on this motherboard, you can either use an 8 pin or a 4 pin. Your two 8 pins for your graphics card goes here, if you've got one like mine. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And if you've got a sound card, you use a 4 Molex or something like that. So you connect them once, and then if you have a CPU like mine, a CPU caller like mine, you connect the fan, the uh, the fan, what do they call them? I just touched the lens. The fan three pin is that three pin? Yes, yeah, three pin. Yeah, you connect the, you connect them into the head of the, the into the CPU block. So as I'm doing now, you just push it in, and it should go in. But this one isn't going in for some. All right, yeah. Am I installing it in the right place? I think so. I did it before. Okay, so yeah, you put it into your CPU block and then you grab the Molex 4 pin and you connect that into your power supply. Now I'm going to connect all mine. Um, I don't want to have cables all over my motherboard, so I'm going to connect all my fans via Molex. So yeah, you just connect all your fans via Molex and you're pretty much done. So yeah, you connect your fans via Molex. You can you use the CPU. 4 or 8 pin, to connect, you connect the CPU 4 or 8 pin to the power, you connect uh, to, to the power, you connect 20 or 24 pin to your motherboard, connect 2 8s or 2 6s to your, to your uh, power supply unit, you connect, what else do you connect? You connect up here, you connect another 4 pin for your fan controller, if you want an extreme gaming rig you have to have a fan controller because uh, it will get a bit loud you take out yeah that's pretty much it I cover everything CPU CPU cooler okay all I'm missing is the drives but I'll get to that soon so yeah you come over here open this up take out take out not a cable which cable is it I'm feeling it to get no, no, come on, where are they? No, this peripheral, I don't want another peripheral, I've got like two already. Four pin Molex. Okay, just bear with me people, just bear with me. Alright, you need one of these. 
Does this hit you? You need one of these. Now, this is what powers your hard drives, your SSD, your, your hard drive, your SSD, and your... Hold on, let me undo this. Sorry, I should have done this before, but... Like, I'm not concentrating, seeing as I am really tired. I just want to get this done. It's like 7 o'clock already in the morning. What can we do, mate? What can we do? Okay, one sec, people. One sec. Just got to do that. Put that in there. Yeah, this is how it will look. Connect that into your power supply. If you have a power supply like mine. And you connect these into your drives. And you're pretty much good to go. That's it. Power it, all, power it all up and next will be cable management and then you're done with the case and then I'll do the rest tomorrow after I sleep. So yeah, I'm going to do the cable management today so stay tuned for that. Alright people, I hope this was a good tutorial. If you need more help, leave some comments in the comments section and uh, rate, comment, subscribe and favourite. Okay people, see you later. Bye.